Hello pilots and ground crew, welcome back to my channel again. Well, it's part three and it's the final part. I promise, the final part. No more of this crap going on. I mean, uh, well, it's not anymore, but it was me three inch mini build for long range. And if you followed along, you'd watch the first one. I had a lot of problems wobbling about. P terrible, terrible flight. Right, second one, after I'd done loads of filtering and stuff and tuning, it was a lot better, but it still will not great. And I came to the conclusion the tiny little uh, three inch frame couldn't handle the 18650 lithium ion pack. So I got myself a four inch frame. Right, and I swapped everything over. Well, I was using, for the flight control board and ASCs, I was using the iFlight F4. I'll put a picture up. Oh, that way. One of them. Right, the iFlight F4 somewhat. Right, and it was working in the 3-inch. And somehow, when I've transferred it over to the 4-inch, I've damaged somewhat. I've done somewhat because it went bang and we had magic smoke and all sorts of stuff. So that went out the window. So instead, we're using the, uh, the Mamba. F722 uh, stack. Links in the description to everything I'm using anyway. But yeah, so after waiting for the frame and then having to bloody buy, because I already had the iFlight F4 stack, so that saved me a fortune. But having to go order the frame and order a new stack it's took longer and that's why this part three the final part has finished so anyway let's just take a quick look uh, at the bits and at the frame and i mean quick i'm not going to bore you and we'll get straight to the field for a, a test flight right and hopefully it will fly nice and smooth <laughs> Right, and I've got everything set up right. But even if I haven't, and there's still a couple of problems, I'm not doing a part four. You'll just see it uh, down the line. You'll see a flight, and I'll put, you know what I mean? I won't put three inch mini, I'll put four inch. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, right, let's just go to the bench and quick look at the, the bits. And like I said, link in the description to all the parts I'm using. And then we'll go straight to the field and. Uh, Hopefully give her a nice gentle flyabout and the image will be perfect. <laughs> okay then pilots and ground crew, uh, to the bench. Okay then, right, so we took all the parts out of uh, the 3 inch, which uh, as we know we had problems with. Uh, if you're interested in the bits and pieces I use, these are the iFlight... Uh, Whoa, ESCs, and I use an iFlight board. I'll tell you what, all the bits and pieces, rather than going through it, because this isn't that type of video, I'll leave a link in the description to all the parts. Okay, so we took them out of 3 inch, and I'm putting them in this the uh, 4 inch iFlight Camaro. Uh, I just thought I'd give you a quick look, right? You've probably seen them before. But this is what you get in the box. You get a couple of lipo straps, you get the base, you get these little uh, feet. Uh, you get your bag of tools, your hardware and stuff. You also get a load of screws, which has already got uh, uh, your Loctite on, all different sizes and stuff. you got your little connector for your GPS, which I've already put in, which will sit at the back there. You got your connector for your antenna and your XT30 to come out. I've already put the extension in because uh, it was a pain in the ass. I, I, had to, <laughs> I actually had to get a file and make the bloody hole bigger. It, it was very tight getting that in. So, whatever you do, if you're going to do this, put an extension in, do it first before you connect everything up, or you're only going to have to unscrew it to uh, get it all in. Right, what I do like, you get these little tabs, right, I'll get one out and show you, because they are, they are di somewhat different actually, somewhat different. They're like a little tab, a see-through, if I put something like that, hopefully you can see, they're, they're hollow basically, and you just stick them on the arms, 
right, and run the motor wires straight through. Right, uh, let's just put this frame together then, and uh, then we'll get all the parts in it. Right, for putting the frame together, I'm going to do all this just in jump shots, because you're not going to be that interested. I mean, let's be honest here, it's a bottom plate, and it's a top plate so it's not that difficult right so i think what we'll do is a quick jump shot and we'll have it all put together show you it and then we'll get the bits in and then we'll go straight to the field and uh, give it a test flight and hopefully with the four inch size and the four inch props it'll help balance the weight out and it'll fly a lot smoother Okay then, uh, let's do a magic jump shot piece of paper, there you go, three, two, one, well here she is then, I brought her outside because uh, the light in uh, my workshop or workroom or whatever is pretty bad so I thought I'd bring her outside and see it a bit better. Well straight away I'm using the Menace RC telescope antenna for my VTX as you can see that big bugger. Uh, I've got a mount on for me Runcam 5, once again self-explanatory, and I'm using my lithium iron 4 cell pack, which is which was the whole idea of the mini 3 inch build which went out the window. <laughs> uh, I know I mentioned earlier I put the Mamba stack in, but later on in the future, or coming up in about a week probably or two, I'm going to do a review of it. And so for this flight, I've left everything on stock, stock tunes, stock pids, everything, right? just to see how it flies all stock, basically. So, right, uh, getting back to it then, in case you're interested, uh, I'm using the Eco, I'll start again, the Emax Eco Motors and the Hurricane Prop. Now why Emax Eco Motors? Two reasons. One, I happen to have a set of uh, 1404 3700KVs which are great for this. Plus two, I know a lot of people don't like Emax Eco Motors but I've never had a problem with them. I've used them quite a few times. Uh, and I, I've always found them to be good bloody motors actually. And like I said I already had a set so it's something I didn't have to buy. You'll see in the flight, coming up in a minute, uh, there's no GPS or anything information, right? So it's not a long distance flight, a long range flight, it's more of a let's see how it flies flight, just a basic maiden. Because if you're following along with part one and two, basically I've had problems with the GPS, so what I've done is I've ordered a new one. But I didn't want to wait for the maiden flight until it arrives. So this is like the maiden without the GPS. So there'll be no return to home tests or out like that. And uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything else I can tell you. Link's in the description to all the parts. Right? Like I says though, the new uh, Mamba board, the Mac 3 flight control board plus ESC. It's a new one out. And I've no idea if it's any good. It'll be linked in the description. But if you're sort of umming and ahhing, right, in about a week or two, I'll be posting a review of it. And uh, because I'll know more what it's like and everything. Okay then, uh, I've waffled enough now. So let's get to the field and uh, have a quick rip. Or a gentle flight. Okay then, uh, pilots and ground crew, to the field. Right then, here we go. Uh, I'll get rid of that DVR footage in a minute, but uh, I just wanted you to see, with that Mamba being everything on stock, it was quite windy today as well, by the way, but with that Mamba being everything on stock, right, it's not too bad. It's a hell of a lot better, the balance, right, than uh, that three inch, if you watch part one and two. Right, there's still a bit of a wobble, Right, I need to adjust my feed forward, plus at this point I haven't even set up bi-directional D-shot, which I'm going to do as well, so that will help in the future. And, uh, well, I'll try them two things first, the feed forward and the bi-directional D-shot before I even touch the pits. 
But yeah, so it's a hell of a lot better than uh, last time than with that three inch and the balance is a lot better. And I'm uh, looking forward to getting the new GPS so I can take it to the big field at Beverly and give it a good proper range test. Okay, right, I'll uh, shut up now and let you watch the rest of the flight in the uh, HD. Okay then, pilots and ground crew, enjoy the rest of the flight. test flight not long range but uh, as I said no GPS at the moment but for a little test flight that'll do nicely get the GPS sorted and then uh, we'll get over to a bigger field right then I'll leave it there thanks for watching pilots and ground crew and I'm talking to myself in the cab behind me so cheers <laughs> <laughs>